what's going on guys, it's Captain sitting here with uh, a very, very special episode of Kuro Thunder. We're doing uh, some CBT perspective commentary, I don't know what it is, but it's, we're driving the Tiger basically, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to showcase the fact that I have this Tiger, and Tiger is very strong. But, yeah, I'll take this, I guess I'll take this opportunity to look at the aspects of the games and what I think so far. Um, but, so this is Fourth Thunder uh, Ground Forces, basically. It's about to come out in patch 1.40 after the 9, which is coming into the next patch in the Fourth Thunder public server, you know, where it's only planes and stuff. And, um, play on the map Kuban. You can tell the hits. There's a lot of trees on this map. It's, uh, very heavy on the processors. I'm pretty sure they're gonna optimize that soon, though. But, <coughs> we're just driving along. Having fun. Okay, we can see uh, some. Or you can already see there's a different change in play style for from uh, World of Tanks. You see, you'll see the heavy tanks like such as the Tigers, the Panthers, being front and center. Like not instead of being front and center and told being told to brawl, you'll see them actually from these from these uh, firing positions usually hold down. I'm not sure that guy was hold down or anything. Not like me. I'm an idiot because I don't know how to play this game. Um, just go drawing up, driving me out in the open, but. You will see these uh, tanks from realistic engagement distances of two kilometers, kilometers or more. And oh, I'm about to get, it. I'm about to get shot here. Where did that guy come from? I don't have no idea. I would, I should have shown them where the guy was. But yeah, you see this tank right here. Uh, I'm gonna call him Tank 27. He has a big 27 on the back of his uh, storage bin. But you know, he's engaging enemy tanks from a distance where he can't physically see them. But he can just surmise based on where this t where his teammates have spotted them, and he can see the outline and stuff like that. But that's a pretty far distance. I mean, I don't think that there's an engagement distance in, like in a Watt that can do that, unless you get a really lucky shot in the dark and you happen to hit something. And yeah, that's it. that's if you manage to hit something. You know, the tanks have hit, hit have hit points, and they can still go on, slug it out, and possibly win the match and survive until the end of the round. But here, any critical hits to any of the major areas on a, on a tank, such as a Tiger, such as, say, to like an ammo rack or something like that, will, in fact, destroy it. Knock out the crew, actually. That's actually the thing where I don't get ammo rack hit, the crew just dies. And our little friendly IS-1 over there by himself, hiding. But I'm just gonna actually move to an advantageous fire position. Now I'm gonna shut up now for a second, because I want you to observe the ambient noises, such as the turret turning and the gun lowering. Hold on. Now I'm not sure if, the, if you can actually hear it back then, but uh, the sound of the turret traversing, it's, I don't know, I find it, it's like the little things that count, because, you know, like they put like a lot of emphasis in detail on this, you can tell, you can tell, even by the, the, the exhaust that comes out of the back of the, uh, of the, out of the engine, it's, it's still pretty cool every single time you move, turn and stuff, and usually you can see those plumes of clouds of black smoke or white smoke from mile, miles away. So, as you can see, I just one-shotted that panther in the turret, and pr maybe, maybe he was damaged multiple times. He is brawling with two other tigers and a panther on our team. Maybe he just had, you know, he was like his last shot, he was on his last legs, but that will tend, tend to happen from time to time. Either that he was either ammo rack or his crew was knocked out, or majority of his crew was knocked out. And, oh yeah, yeah, if you look at the bottom, I have my standard of AP and HE. There's also APCR. APCR, though, it's not considered premium ammo, it's still considered standard ammunition. Except, they all have the same damage output overall. I would say that they do 75 damage, they do the same thing all the time. It, except, the shell travels faster, so APCR is good for shooting at vehicles on the move, such as fast moving light tanks like the Panzer III's or the T-34's or, you know, the, other, I don't know. There's a lot of tanks in this game that I haven't actually checked out, but I mean, like, let I me mean, look at the uh, the environment. I mean, yeah, I'm driving through like the little bushes, and they're like being pushed aside. I'm pretty sure Watt does that as well. But it's like the trees knocking over. But you know, once again, it's the little things that count. I like little details like that. 
Uh, that's just a personal preference. Anyway, it's about the match is about to come to an end. We're about to wipe out these next two tanks over here. I think there's a Jag Panzer, uh, Jag Panzer full with the L70. There's the original Jag Panzer armed with the normal 75, but this one with the long 75 L70. Come crossing over the hill. Uh, he's gonna die. I think, on the contrary, actually, I hit him. Oh. You said, see, uh, you just heard that the gunner was unconscious, meaning that, um, say if uh, the gunner is knocked unconscious, you can't fire the gun or traverse the turret very well. Same goes with the driver. If the driver is knocked unconscious, you can't go anywhere. But, um, anyway, Paul is messing for you right now. Oh, God. Well, before, during the times. And we won. And we're just waiting around. All the tanks were moved up. And, uh, yeah, the screen goes black over here, but, um, I don't know, I'm probably going to put a filler of, uh, KV-85 being ammo racked or something, which, I'm, uh, I don't know. But, what I've seen so far, it's awesome. I would recommend everybody to at least try this out, see if it fits their play style. I know that those hardcore, the hardcore WAP players might not be interested because of, you know, being one-shotted every single time you walk out of the spawn, or... You know, tanks not dying after you shot them like six times. But, you know, if, if you those that want uh, a fresh new perspective on tank combat, I guess this is uh, a game for you. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing much more to say, and I'm also very bad at commentary because I never do commentaries ever. Except when I'm screaming along with friends, flying around planes into buildings and stuff. But um, I guess that wraps it up. I mean, I was actually, I had a lot more to say about physics, but uh, I guess I'll do that another time. So, uh, let's catch the century. I'll see you guys later. Yeah.